Hi everyone, Jeremy here, thanks for watching today. In this video I want to revisit a past collection from Made to Surprise, which is the Shutter Blind collection. Check the description box below for all Black Friday offers and deals. There is a great offer on this collection and you've still got time to make those last minute Christmas cards. So the products I'm going to be using in today's video is the Christmas Fun Sentiment Stamp Set. the Snowman Stamp and Die Set and the 6x6 Mechanism Die Set. I'll also be using the downloadable papers that came with the Paper Craft Society Box 37. So I'll just talk you through the cutting guide. So you want to cut one each of these pieces, one of the frame now be mindful if you're using a directional paper that the largest section here is at the top. You'll want one of this, one of these and three of these. So I'm going to start with the shutter assembly. So I have this piece here with the slots in it and then I have my three larger shutters and one smaller. Because I'm using a coated paper um, I'm going to add red tape now to each of these tabs before inserting them into the slots here. So I'm going to set the smaller one aside because that's the last one that we'll insert into the tab. You want to start at the bottom one of the larger ones so I've just made my way along and inserted the three largest tabs now I'm going to insert the last one which is the smaller tab now if you're not using the textured paper and you're just using standard paper you can go along here now and add your quick grab glue and attach them down together So I've removed my backing tape, I'm going to make sure that that's flush to the edge and then I'm going to press it down and make sure I've got a nice straight edge. I'm just going to work my way along now and do the same for the rest of the tabs. So now I've attached all my tabs, I'm going to add some glue along here and then attach our plain piece. So I'm going to use the Kalal glue to strengthen that up because there'll be a lot of tension on it. So I'm just sandwiching those tabs in between these two pieces, making sure it all lines up. So I'm going to set that to one side and let the glue dry and I'm going to work on my other pieces before stamping. So I now have these two pieces, the ones with the slots there, and I've reinforced the score lines but I'm not going to fold and burnish at this point because I do want to stamp on, onto this piece. So I want to make sure that it's nice and flat before stamping. So we're going to slot this into these slots here. So what I like to do is line this one up to the first one here. So it just overlaps it slightly. Hold that in place from behind and just pop the other one over the slot and push them both down. So you want to make sure you've got equal spacing from behind as so and the front will look like this. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue along here and, th and there to fasten it in place. So 
I'm just going to check it from the front to make sure that everything is pushed down. You will have a little bit of gap here and there. Now at this stage you can attach this panel here that you've cut on top of here but I like to add it after I've done my stamping but it's entirely up to you. So I'm going to bring in my stamping platform now. So I'm going to use this snowman image here. So be mindful when it's in your stamp stamping platform that you've got the open edge here facing downwards. And I'm just going to use my frame as a guide for my stamped image. So it needs to sit within this square here. So I'm going to be colouring my image using alcohol inks. So I'm bringing in the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, which is alcohol friendly. So I've had to stamp my image off a few times to make sure I get the impression that I want. Now there might be some areas that are lighter than others. You could go in with a black fine tip pen and just correct those if you want to. So while I have my platform out, I'm going to stamp the other images that I want to colour. So I have the mittens and the snowballs. So now I'm going to bring in the Christmas Fun Sentiment Stamp Set. Stamp my sentiment on the same piece here. So I've decided to have, let's have a snowball fight. So for my sentiment, I'm going to be using the VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And in my opinion, this is the best ink for your sentiment to get that really sharp image that you want. So I'm just going to bring in my shutter piece here. So if you're using a different cardstock to me, white cardstock for example, then at this point this is when you'd stamp your image. Um, but I'm just going to put pull on the top here. So at this point I'm going to attach my frame to my piece here. So if you're using a lighter GSM you might want to cut two frames. Maybe one in white cardstock and the other then your pattern paper. Or you might want to ink blend the frame. Or stamp your own image there. Choices are endless. So I'm just going to let that dry and start colouring my other pieces here. So I'm going to start with the snowballs and it doesn't need much colouring obviously because they're white but you do want to add a little bit of shadow so I'm going to use um, some cool grey colours here and I'm just going to go around the outside just to add a little bit of shadow there. So I want to colour my mittens in yellow so I'm using two shades of yellow here. So I started off with colouring the whole piece in the lighter yellow and now I'm going in with a darker shade and I'm going around the outside and I'm sort of doing flicked motions I guess so I don't get that harsh line. You can sort of go around the edges so and then go back in. This is how I like to colour, I'm not a professional. And then I go in with my lighter shade then to blend the edges. So 
of these my mittens it's still wet so you'll see some darker colors but that will even out as it dries now i'm going to work on my snowman So I've gone ahead and I've prepared my card base. So I've cut a piece of 12 by six along the 12 inch side, I've scored at the six inch marker. I've cut a piece of five and three quarters by five and three quarters in the same glitter card stock that I'm using for the shutters. I've attached that on the front there. And I've got all my pieces prepared now for assembly. Now everything's prepared. I'm ready to move on to the shutter piece and I just realized that I must have misplaced my little stopper piece um, so I've just manually cut a small piece of card here but obviously use, use your die for that so this bit can be a little bit fiddly but as you go on go along you'll find it uh, much easier so I'm going to start with the bottom piece and I'm going to work, work my way up the top so I'm sort of it's hard for me to explain I'm just bending the shutter piece backwards and slotting it over the opening and then you want to just push those down into place and then you have your shutter piece now I think this cardstock is really useful because it's got that um, coating as I said so hopefully it should move in and out much smoother but um, Sam has also recommended to add a little bit of uh, wax along the edges and that will help for a smoother transition so now that that's in place what you want to do is you want to pull the shutters up slowly until they all disappear and then you want to flip it over and you want to hold that in place then so that will stop that from going any further and then your shutters won't sort of pop out so when you're gluing this down you want to just put a little bit of glue on the edge here and, the, and there so on a little bit on each edge and then you want to glue that in place over the top there so before I attempt to move the slider up and down I'm going to make sure that that's dry so I'm just going to set that aside just going to add a little bit of foam tape to the back of my images here ready to attach them to my front of my card so next I'm going to fold over the edges here and attach this oops, to the front of my card so I've just removed a little bit of the red tape from each side and I'm going to line up the bottom which doesn't have the exposed adhesive make sure I've got an equal frame around each side and then I'm going to stick down the top and remove the backing from the rest of it sorry I was slightly off camera there but hopefully you can see what I've done So 
So I'm still letting that glue dry and I'm going to assemble the rest of the card and then I'll show you the movement at the end. So here's the final card. It opens and closes like so. So I really like the bright colours against the glitter cardstock here and the yellow mittens. Let's have a snowball fight. I'll also bring in this card. Um, this is the 5x7 mechanism, so the construction is very similar to the 6x6. So my idea is that Santa's inside the grotto here uh, with all the lights and the presents, and then you open up the shutter and he's looking out at Rudolph outside there by the Christmas tree. So smooth open and close mechanism there as the first. Just bring it up a little bit closer. So I've used craft card on the front here and I've stamped um, using the wood panel from the Simple Pop-Ups collection, Homes and Gardens stamp set. And I've just used some Distress Oxide Gathered Twig and um, stamped along the frame here. These lights are from the Paper Craft Society box and then everything else is used in the Shutter Blind collection. So I'll link all the products used in today's video in the description box below. It'll also take you to the Craft Sash website where there are currently offers on the Shutter Blind collection. These are while stocks last. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give me a thumbs up or a comment. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, click on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. Starting the 1st of December, I'm going to be doing a 12 Days of Christmas series. So I'll be sharing Christmas makes every day from the 1st to the 12th of December. So that'll include cards and 3D projects. So I hope you'll join me. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.